Aloha, Kako. It's Pastor Keith, Christ Lutheran Church, Mililani Town. Welcome to morning prayer for, wait for it, March 1st, 2023. It's Wednesday. Yeah. And the reading is from Exodus 34. And here Moses makes new tablets for the Ten Commandments. The uh, first ones were shattered when he came down the mountain and saw the Israelites worshiping the golden calf. And uh, he threw them at the calf and destroyed the calf and boom, boom there it was. So uh, he had to go back up the mountain and get some more tablets. Wasn't going to do it, but then he and God decided, yeah, they would. Here we go. The Lord said to Moses, cut two tablets of stone like the former ones, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the former tablets, which you broke. Be ready in the morning and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you and do not let anyone be seen throughout all the mountain. Do not let flocks or herds graze in front of that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone like the former ones, and he rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for the thousandth generation, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means clearing the guilty, but visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. He said, if now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin and take us for your inheritance. He said, write these words in accordance with these words, I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. He was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water. And he wrote on the tablets, the words of the covenant, the 10 commandments. Yeah, the covenant is renewed. And you'll notice that Yahweh, God of Israel, is, if anything, a God of chesed. That's Hebrew for grace or, more literally, steadfast love. Yes, the consequences of sin will last for generations, unto the third and fourth generation, it says. But the iniquity, while not discounted, will be overcome by God's steadfast love and forgiveness. E pule kako, let us pray. Direct us, Lord God, in all our doings with your most gracious favor, and extend to us your continual help that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name. And finally, by your mercy, bring us to everlasting life. To Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you, protect you, guide you throughout this day and always. Amen. <laughs>